Hey guys, this is SN Hall, and today we'll be playing another gimmick deck! It's been a while. Indeed it has, but this time I have a dragon deck? Question mark? Yes, it is a dragon deck, but it's mostly dragons, not 100% dragons. Let me show it to you. We have dragon eggs, young dragon hawks, which is not a dragon, but when liking cards, it's close enough. Come on, it has a name Dragon in its name. You just can't deny that. So yeah. Okay, we have a Fire Dragon, which actually is a dragon. It doesn't look like it, but it is a dragon. Blackwing Technician, not a dragon, but synergy with dragons. Dragon King Sorcerer, he's a dragon. Uh, can the Dragon Link King sort of be called a dragon? It's a mechanical dragon, so it counts as a dragon, okay? <laughs> then we have Hungry, Hungry Dragon. Twilight Drake, Azura Drake, Blackwing Corruptor. And this is why it's called a Dragon Rider, and not just a Dragon deck. Because Bolgar, the Four Dragon, is the one riding the dragon. Why? Because he has the name Dragon in his second name. Logic! Yeah, no, it doesn't make any sense. You just go along with it. <laughs> ah, hiccups. We have some Dragon Corn Swords, some Draconid Crusher, some Volcanic Drakes, Ran Black Hand, which comes with dragons. Chrono Magange, which is Dragon, Mulgains, and Nefarian. But this deck is not so about what we have. It's about who we can defeat. That's right. We'll be tracking our Dragon Rider deck and testing it out on ranked. Fair warning, I didn't play much rank this season. I didn't have a lot of time to do so. But I am very much looking forward to... Testing out my gimmick decks. <laughs> That's pretty much it. We're gonna see how well the dragons fare against the new meta. Which I have no idea what it is, because I haven't been paying attention this season. So yeah, let's check it out. Maybe it's a deck, it's a dragon deck as well. And we would just see a swarm of dragons battling each other. Maybe not, but maybe it will. Who knows? Okay. This seems hardly fair. Shall bring victory. I will fight with okay, honor. Let's throw both of these out. We want to keep the Zerdrick. And there's a good reason why we want to keep the Zerdrick. Jeez. That's a bad hand. There we go. Okay, let's get summon the eggs. Well, we already have the Farian, so if we get to turn 9, we have a power play. The problem is, we need to get turn 9 to get the power play. Just knock this crystal down. Summon a little guy like this. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. And we don't have anything to buff the egg up with. So, hoping for AoE. Really hoping for AoE. And... Silence? No. Yeah, priests don't usually have silence, so... We can probably deal with that. Unless he plays something really strong and just kicks the crap out of us, so... Mm. Hopefully he doesn't. Come on, man, you know what cards you have. What you want? That's not good. I'm not gonna ram myself into that. There we go. Reporting for duty. Next turn we'll play the Dragon Mechanic, which will deal with this pretty well. If he trades in, which he can, then he can heal, so... What's he gonna... Okay, just gonna silence it. The egg is now useless. Yeah, I kind of called that one, unfortunately. He's just gonna go for race. Yep, this is not gonna be a fun one. It's not gonna go... Why would you clear that? Okay, I am a paladin, but why? Okay. We can kill it with all of these, or just two of these, or just one of these, and two of these. So, luckily he didn't go for face. He made a really dumb trade. So, he, he basically attacked nothing. This egg, where is it? This egg is worth nothing. Because it, it was silenced. So, it kind of made sense because I am a paladin, so it sort of makes sense. But then again, it sort of doesn't. So, yeah, that's the thing. <coughs> ah, cough. Damn it, cough. He also has dragons. 
My dragon brethren, join us! Do not fight that! By the side of that unholy creature! So, best I can do here, just do this, this, and this. Trade them all. And let's get the Zerg Drake out. Get the extra card, the Volcanic Drake. Too bad we didn't have one mana. We might get a trade up. We can might use the Zerg Drake to trade with something and we'll be able to play the Volcanic Drake cheaper. Otherwise, we'll just... No, we're going to keep the Draconite Crusher. We really do. And I don't want to hit that. Deal 3 damage. Well, that's just perfect. I wield the power. Let's smash them. And smash them with this. And then play a young Dragon Hawk. He might not be 100% Dragon, but he's Dragon enough. He's Dragon enough. Okay, we can kill Legendary, if he plays one, <clears throat> because if, we have a lot of Drakes in hand, so that shouldn't really be a problem here. Murlocs, I hate those guys. He's playing a pretty basic deck, so we're probably gonna win. Okay, must have want, really wanted card draw, because it doesn't make much sense to play that. Uh, let's go for this, this, and this. And that. Oops! I forgot to attack with the dragon hawk. Hopefully, we don't need that two damage. Very hopefully. <laughs> I hope it doesn't come down to he's got one health and he kills us. That's gonna be bad on my part. Knock down some coconuts. There we go. Light up the fires. That's a pretty dumb play. Shields up. Okay. But at least it has some reason behind it, so... I can understand it? But... Then again. Okay, let's sack some creatures. The battle. So this... I can't do that. Yes, we can. Just do it. And... Volcanic Drake. And Feral Drunken Hawk, and let's play another reinforcement. Let's go ham. And ham again. You cannot stop, stop the Dragon Onslaught. It is too strong for you. Hopefully. One more hit and we can play this to just clear everything. And the blade of the goddess. Hopefully it'll trade into something so we don't have to, but if he doesn't, well if he doesn't, he doesn't. Just Okay, he doesn't. Can we clear this? First let's make the obvious moves here. There we go. There we go. Face and assert our victory. Four dragon hawks. That minion already attacked. And four damage to go. Dragons are pretty much on the offensive here. They're pretty tough. They've been giving it all they got, and they're not gonna. And they're knocking everyone down. So yeah. Let's see how this goes. Hmm. Indeed, what will you do against the might of a dragon? Or a, a several dragons? Well played, sir. Well, played. well, as you still you still play well to the best of your abilities. But You know what? Just because you've earned it. Let's show you Nefarian. Just because you've earned it. There we go. To the and well played. Okay, the dragons have an early lead and an early win. Let's see how the 
the play now in round two. Let's just go ham and win everything. Or we might just lose everything. Either way, either way. Let's see how this goes. Another worthy opponent. I never get anything but those. Uther versus Jaina. Okay, this is gonna make it a pain to play these guys. Hungry Dragon, really good. Dragonoid Crusher, not so good. At least not for now. There we go. Just play the Dragon Egg. He can't ping it. And then we can start playing the reinforcements. We'll reinforce the egg. It's our brilliant turn one slash two strategy. Play an egg and reinforce it. And then fire rockets. There we go, you can drag him out. Yo, it's just gonna get killed. Really no point in playing that if you, you can just kill it. Okay, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when we come for you? Ah, my throat's kinda sore. It's hard to talk. On this. Let's just do this. Sure? Yeah, I'll play, I'll play out the Young Dragon Hawk, so it just has two targets. It'll probably kill it, but we'll have the Silver Hand recruits, and we'll be able to do some damage, or we can smash the Wargon if he installs it. He's not gonna trade with the Wargon. It's just not smart. But, well, it can also get value of the Hungry Hungry Dragon. If it's a one health. Hopefully. If it's a one health, we can use it, the recruit to smash it. Let's hope it is. Come on. Take your turn. There we go. The light protects me. And damn, damn, damn. The one health minion we could not kill. And again, I don't think he can kill the Hungry Hungry Drake unless he has a fireball. Please don't have a fireball. Free, please? Free, free, please? He has a fireball. Damn it. Well, all the advantages that we have won from that Drake, we just lost it. He didn't think that one drew, did he? It's now four... Or... You can let it steam there for a while. The power Just get a really strong creature out. And... Well, probably Volcanic Break next turn. Bolvar Far Dragon... Yeah, Four Dragon. Probably won't get you out here right away. Even though you are a dragon in name, you are not a dragon in shape. Which is a problem. Ready to ride. Is he gonna go face? Probably gonna go for face. Nope. Gonna go for the trade. Also good for us. 6-7. Acceptable. Better rather go for the 6-4. Done. Because he has nothing on the board, he will probably draw any other removal he has. Probably. And if he kills it, extra point of damage. So that's great. Uh, let's see. Plus next turn we can play a Fairy Dragon. And there we go. That's something we wanted to bait out. So, let's put this out, and the Fairy Dragon as well. Not Fairy Dragon-like, but heavy on the Alliance power. Alliance! Yeah, it's pretty deep into the Alliance. Not so much the Horror, though. 7-7 seven, seven on turn 7. This was a 6-6 six, six on turn 6. We would probably get the Devil here, but it isn't. 777. Seven, seven. So seven's the luckiest number, so three sevens, probably a lot of luck. Hopefully. 
Okay, flame strike is kind of okay. Kind of. Just because I didn't hit something that valuable to begin with. There we go. You will pay. That hurt him. So, he either pulls another flame strike, which I'm really hoping he doesn't, or we're in a pretty good position here. He's probably gonna doesn't want to polymorph this since it's already taking a lot of damage I am master of magics. what is he doing and it can't be a flame strike arcane explosion okay he's gonna kill four four dragon but we're gonna be good There we go. Okay, Draconoid Crusher. It's a 9-9. This will really make him fear us. He can flame strike the board and clear almost everything, but he won't clear this. So at least we have that certainty. Since he did get the large talent. Oh. Plus, next Draconoid we get can really pack a punch as well. Please, no more arcane explosions, because you're going to kill almost everything if you do. Pretty please? Very please? Can stop the smoke here? It's very distracting. Seize the smoke! Okay, he's not going to do that. Come on. Handle it. That's good, right? He's going to go for the train. One. Is he gonna use it? No, nope, he's gonna use the mortal lock. So he's gonna take this out and this out. Yep, that's the only thing that made sense. Be confused! Damn it. He wasn't confused enough. Okay. For Blackwing! For the Spire! And let's put it down to one health. I'll keep this, just in the case something goes incredibly wrong. But that's just an issue of a well played. He might play around it, but it's hard. Flame Strike will do it, but he's not likely to do it. Flame Strike? You have Flame Strike. Hmm. He apparently does not have flame strike, so this is a win. The hunter GG, no, the paladin GG. Yeah, he lost. Please tell me, just gonna. Come on, man, just. I you either fight it or pick it like a man. Just don't, don't do that. Just don't delay your own, your own demise. Come on. Let's spawn something while we take We spawn the giant banana. The power of the banana compels you. Oh, well played. Well played. What's he gonna do? He's gonna try to lay his doom. Because you actually. You actually tried so hard, I'll just kill you with the silver hand recruit. A quick and painless stat. And a winning streak! Hooray! Okay, let's go one more. I'm getting a feeling that these guys are really clearing the board for no reason at all. And it's kind of messing with me. I'm not sure why this deck is being so successful. Yeah, they are drakes, they are strong by nature, but there should be someone to fight them. Maybe it's because of the low rank, I'm not sure. But again, I don't want to underestimate anyone at long rank, especially in ranked play. Because being 20 means nothing. Some people just don't want to go any hard. It doesn't mean that they're bad, they just don't want to go. So sometimes you get some really hard matches in tier 20. That's okay. That's that's really okay. We're gonna be saving this. We will not be saving. No, we should be saving this. We'll just kill it. 
So yeah, you'll be saving that. Probably be going out to Twilight Drakes, and there's nothing we can play until then. And it's not seem like he's gonna do a slow game. Reporting for duty. Not at all, unfortunately. Hey, we got the Dragon Consort. Let's hope that's not a bad sign. Hopefully. Okay, that's bad. Yep, that's definitely bad. Okay, let's do this. Twilight Drake! This will confuse him. He'll think we have giants and he'll panic. Hopefully. He's too many ahead of us, so that's a problem. That helps us make this till I like Drake is strong. If not stronger. He's gonna clear the board though. Which is gonna be annoying at least, so. Just land him with another Twilight Drake. There we go. Another Drake for you. A nine card Drake. Oh boy. We need to clear the hand fast. I see. Okay, luckily we have no spell, so that won't damage us. Another one. You gotta be kidding me. We do run empty. Now we're gonna we get one card burn. Unfortunately, a good card burden. Let's clear as many cards as we can. We need to clear as many cards as we can, we really do. He's out of naturalizes though, and that's good for us. Then again, he is playing, playing a pretty delayed deck, so... Hit hard. Really, really hard. That's two less. Damn. I don't want to play, play this. I really don't. It'll be kind of a waste to do so. So I'm not gonna do it. We're gonna be able to get some good plays out of this next turn, though. I can wait and fish all day. Hey yo! Is this a whole legendary deck? I think this is a whole legendary deck. Not the deck we want to be facing here. That much is for sure. Okay. Yes. Probably. Three plus four. Yep. Ah. Play this? Yeah, let's play this. Job's done. That might be troublesome, just because he has a lot of high health creatures. Very few legendaries have low health. The only example that comes to my mind is Leroy. And Leroy is... Unfortunately... not gonna show up here. Illin Stormrage though is, and that's not someone I want to see here. Okay, I can just kill this. But I'm wondering if that's the smartest play I can do. Uh, likely to throw this out. Swarm the board. Never tell. This secret keeper? Should I kill my ex? Yes, I should. He can, he can do a lot better. He could do worse, but he can do a lot better. And Pego actually working is not being good for us. We are gonna get destroyed here. I guess that's what we get for... That's what we get for just... Clearing the board, completely wrecking everyone in the first two games. Then Karma catches up to us and just bites us in the ass. And it's not good. I think we lost. I might keep trying and fighting, but I'm pretty sure we lost. There we go. Fun Dragon might be of use, but... Friends, where have you been, my friend? Ah, uh, that's great to just clear that. Just 
clear this. Let's put this up here. Let's hope the true horror defeats the legendaries. He's gonna get some extra card draw here. Hopefully he doesn't get Deathwing, because we have no way to deal with Deathwing. Yep! And he recovered this one! And he has a dragon, he definitely has a dragon. Probably Deathwing. So, things are not going in our favor. Let's take this one out and put this one out. And face? Or Pagel? Let's kill the pail. Damn pail! Because I hit you, you caught a fish. Well, when I didn't hit you, you still caught a fish. Why do you keep 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 getting fishes? Damn you, pail! And Markai. Yeah, we're dead. I don't have any clear to just wipe this out, and I'm not a rush deck, so. Everything costing less is really, really bad. Uh, you're a bigger issue here. Let's go for this. Yeah, you're something I need to get rid of. I really like it or not. Plus, you can't kill this. And let's throw some cards. Chromagus! You're gonna be really useful. He has nothing that's Rex on the board, but... Please, not that wing. Okay, if it's legendary Scrum Magus, I can deal with that. That I can deal with. But... No that wing. That wing would just wreck me. I'm throwing everything I have just to keep up. Should I go for some trades here? Likely. Okay, let's kill the most annoying thing first. Let's throw the problem magnets out there. Can you kill it? You will Likely. Because we need to start hitting hard, so. You can kill my problem magnus. Yes, but even if he does it, it's a distraction. He's looking for something, and we need to put him out before he finds it. He's getting a lot of cards, though. If we can force some draw, but we have nothing to force draw. Hopefully he has something to get draw, that we can manipulate. So, if we could... We can actually take some cards away from him. There aren't that many left, and that's something that I don't like. It's not gonna kill Paul Magus, that's for sure. So he's pretty sure he's going to kill me. Okay. You will I just screwed up, didn't I? Uh, for... No, technically... No, I'm dead. Let's hope he doesn't notice it. Well played. Reporting for duty. Well played. He noticed it! He noticed it. Hopefully he'll just cheese with that wing. Please cheese with that wing. Who dares? Scenarios. Nope. Even if he didn't notice, he now knows. We lost. I'll play. Well played. And the dragons have fully finally fallen out of the sky. A dreadful day for all. Well, not the ones that were being born in the Nijin. For them, it's a joyous day. And for us as well, we got the quest. So, yeah. It worked out well. So, this was the Dragon Rider deck. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. If you want to see any other deck, just comment down below. Tell me what you'd be interesting to see, and I'll see if it can be done. But until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, my friends.